If you've been with us all week, you know it's this. all about <laughs> ice cream for our Fork in the Road crew. Yes, I thought maybe we should call it the spoon <laughs> in the road because of the spoon. Anyway, the let's see what the crew and special guest, Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe, decided after yes, three ice cream stops. Hey, buddy. The first stop was the Mayberry Malt and Coffee Shop located in Clay City. The Mayberry Malt Shop serves both hand-dipped and soft-serve ice cream. Thank you. You're welcome. And they have 24 different flavors, ranging from vanilla to white chocolate raspberry truffle. But listen to this. They also serve something called a shundae. It's a shundae. It's um, a milkshake. And you have any type of flavor that you want. And then you have um, a sundae on top. And again, that can be any flavor that you want, too. So you can have the best of both worlds. If you can't decide what you want, you can have a sundae. And then you can have a milkshake. So. What's your name? Leah. Leah? Do you like ice cream? Yes. <laughs> on day two, your votes took us to Green Acres Dairy Bar on Rosedale Road in northern Vigo County. Debbie and Ross Malone have owned the dairy bar since June 2001, but the history of Green Acres goes all the way back to 1966, when Debbie's grandfather, Ernie Furness, opened the location. Debbie says the nomination means a lot to her and her family. I had no idea, and when you called, I was so surprised. But it's, and I said, you know what? Even being nominated is an honor. Doesn't matter how it ends up. It's just I'm honored. On day three, we found Jiffy Treat in Linton, Indiana. Owner David Johnson says he opened Jiffy Treat about 11 years ago, where they serve up 200 different flavors of homemade ice cream. It's a huge menu. There's variations on the theme as well. You know, half a Sunday with butter pecan ice cream with egg. So there's probably a couple hundred, a couple thousand different combinations of things. So who takes the prize for the best ice cream in the Wabash Valley? The winner is Green Acres Dairy Bar. And congratulations. Ah. We've got Debbie and Debbie. <laughs> and Mike. Yeah. And look at all the treats that you brought for us. This is just for Kevin and myself, right? Yeah, that's right. right. This, yeah. Is, this is for us. Uh, although my, Mike threatened me about this. With this <laughs> this one. No, it's that one. Oh, oh, it's that one. one. Oh. All right. Your hands off. <laughs> Tell us about this, Debbie. Tell me about it. Well, we have a little bit of everything. We have our hand-dipped banana split. We have nice. a turtle brownie sundae. Okay, nice and thing. Mike likes the s'more parfait. We have <laughs> a <laughs> strawberry cheesecake avalanche. And we have a Reese cup avalanche. We have a chocolate <laughs> chip or a chocolate um, Oreo mint avalanche. <laughs> have a little bit of everything. Well, congratulations. Well, thank you so much. Green Acres up there on the way toward uh, Rosedale Road. Yes, yeah. almost to Sandcat. Mm. Thanks for